15 year old boy who was found dead near Lorville says they have evidence that suggests foul play was involved. Kawan Bobby Charles was reported missing October 30th in Baldwin. His family says he left home without permission with a 17 year old friend and that friend's mother. His body was found three days later near Lorville. The family tells us they were told by investigators that Bobby drowned, but they don't believe that, citing a graphic photo of his body that's circulating online. Three's on the street tonight. Iman Boy joins us live from Iberia Parish. And Iman, why does the family believe there's foul play and what are investigators saying? Well, investigators here at the Iberia Parish Sheriff's Office aren't giving too much information about this case, but says an autopsy is pending. But family members say a recorded phone call shows evidence of foul play as activists suggest that Bobby's death could have been racially motivated. The disappearance and death of Kawan Bobby Charles has caught the attention of activist groups like Stand Black, which released a recording of a phone conversation between Bobby's mother and an unidentified woman. The woman on the other end claims the mother and son Bobby was last with was high on drugs and later used bleach to clean their car. I think that this shows that at the very least, potentially that these people played a part in the cover up of whatever happened to Bobby. I think you could definitely draw that conclusion, if not something more heinous than that. Deputies say they have interviewed people in connection with the case and collected physical evidence. Since Bobby's death, a GoFundMe account has raised more than $79,000. That GoFundMe also shows a graphic photo organizers say is of Bobby's body it's pictured next to a photo of Emmett Till, a Chicago boy who was lynched while visiting family in Mississippi in the 1950s. We asked the Charles family attorney who specializes in civil rights cases about linking this case to Emmett Till, any indication his death was racially motivated. They're children in the eyes of the law that died very horrific deaths and that's the conclusion that you could definitely draw from that. Believe me, the, the, the cost of an independent autopsy is not cheap. Everything that's been done has been done in the spirit of getting justice and getting answers for Bobby. And Haley says Kawan's body will be brought to Texas on Wednesday for an independent autopsy. Threes on the street live in New Iberia. Iman Boy, KTC, TV3.